we've had a lot of talk about shift left over the past 10 years now, it seems like maybe more. And as cloud workloads become more and more complex and data access uh, and, and identity and runtime uh, ephemeral nature of Kubernetes specifically and, and other parts of your cloud, uh, shift left isn't going to cut it for all of your detection needs. Hi, this is your host, Sapil Bharatiya, and welcome to our yearly predictions video series. And today we have with us Jimmy Mesta, co-founder and CTO of KSOC. Jimmy, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Of course, I'm going to ask you to share your predictions, but before we go there, just quickly tell us about the company. KSOC is a, a, a cloud-native security product and company, so we help small and large organizations uh, uh, build security solutions for their cloud-native environment. Excellent. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and share your predictions with us. Absolutely. Favorite time of the year. Um, we actually just released a blog post on our KSOC blog that expands on some of these too. So uh, maybe we could paste a link to that later. But for now, um, I have three predictions. And uh, let's just start with number one. This one might be a little bit of a hot take, but I believe 2024 will be the year that security shifts right. Um, and, you know, we've had a lot of talk about shift left over the past 10 years now, it seems like maybe more. And as cloud workloads become more and more complex and data access uh, and, and identity and runtime uh, ephemeral nature of Kubernetes specifically and, and other parts of your cloud, uh, shift left isn't going to cut it for all of your detection needs. So that would be my first prediction. We're going to see more and more um, active response uh, automation and detections uh, in runtime. Number two uh, on the list for myself would be the, the supp uh, software supply chain security uh, kind of model or the, the entire area of, of software supply chain solidifies. It's been only a few years since we've seen executive orders starting to trickle out and the government starting to focus more on the software supply chain side of the house. We've had large breaches, um, very large breaches, and we will see more. But I think 2024 is when the rubber will start to meet the road with you know real regulation, uh, real standards, and um, new tooling that will help further bolster the software supply chain ecosystem. And then last on my list uh, is cloud identity detection and response uh, has its moment. We have all ran full steam ahead into uh, the, the, the whole landscape that is the CNCF, cloud providers, Kubernetes. They all have different access models. They all have different identity solutions bolted on top. Some are built in and really understanding who has access to that infrastructure, the data behind it, and should that person or service account or or, or, or program have that access is hard to build robust detections around. So I think um, that's been a top priority for CISOs and it will maintain its uh, number one ranking on the list into 2024. Thanks for sharing these predictions with us. Now, can you also talk about what kind of challenges you see will be there this year for like, of course, customers, the whole market ecosystem and even for KSOS to, and even for say, and even for KSOC to kind of help customers navigate through those challenges. We're coming out of a bit of a, uh, a an economic hole. There's no hiding that, right? Uh, we've had you know, kind of the pandemic and then the, the post-pandemic uh, uh, you know, after the ZERP uh, phenomenon, we're starting to see a lot of hangover, if you will, from overhiring um, and growing too big. Uh, that is happening in large organizations and small. But what ends up happening is there's just a lot of uh, churn inside of organizations. And, and that's not a good thing for security all the time. So when people are leaving or if they're disgruntled and offboarding, uh, layoffs, etc., I think um, causes a little bit of struggle and security to maintain that level of, of access control and detection. We're seeing a lot of uh, emphasis on, on identity for that, that exact reason. So KSOC as, as a platform is helping to demystify cloud access um, with automation and tooling to provide least privilege for those, those types of users and machines 
as well as runtime capabilities uh, to look for sophisticated attacks that, you know, otherwise, you know, if you're just scanning every now and then doing the bare minimum, you're going to miss and that's going to get you in trouble. And nobody in 2024 can't afford to have a breach. I think uh, nobody wants to be in the news. We're all kind of <laughs> laying low and trying to do the best we can. Um, so, you know, our, our product is here to help, but so is our team. And uh, that's, you know, I think we will see we will see quite a bit of uh, of change in security this year and how we automate and make the most out of the tooling that we have. Can you also talk about what's going to be the focus of the company this year? We're really excited about uh, what's going on this year. We've built a, a real-time uh, posture management solution for Kubernetes. We have robust runtime detections. Uh, we're really entering into the identity space, hence, you know, I'm gonna predict things that we are, we are building and or have built. Um, and uh, we're also going to be doubling down on a lot of our runtime efforts. Our customers recognize the need for um, kind of high fidelity contextual uh, uh, observations inside of these ephemeral environments. And Kubernetes is still at the core of what we do, but we're expanding into other, other cloud environments um, uh, as we speak. So we have a lot of uh, net new innovations and in open source as well that we're releasing later this month. Jimmy, thank you so much for taking time out today and shared his predictions with us. Of course, I would love to have you again next year, not only to get the next set of predictions, but also see how many of these three predictions turn out to be true. But I really appreciate your time today and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.